Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start now start looking at solving equations. And we're going to look at a method that you should use whenever you're solving equations, rearranging formulae, um, anything that you're going to be doing with equations later on in school. So, let's look at another typical equation. x plus 5 equals 17. Okay. The method that we're going to use is uh, doing the same to both sides. So, what we want to do is we want to get letters on one side, so you want to solve this equation. So what that means is you want to get x equals. You want to find out what number this x is. Now this is quite a simple one. You can see from it that uh, 12 plus 5 is 17, so the answer is 12. But what we want to do is start getting a technique that you're going to use for all equations. Okay, They're not all going to be as easy as this one. Okay, so whenever you want to solve equations, what you want to do is you want to get x's on one side, or letters on one side, and you want to get numbers on the other. So what that means is you want to remove any other numbers from the left hand side of this equation. You've got x plus 5. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of the plus 5. Whenever you want to get rid of something from one side of an equation, what you do is you do the inverse operation, the opposite, to both sides. So if I want to get rid of the plus 5 from here, if I want to get rid of plus 5, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. Okay. The reason is 5 take away 5 is 0, so you'd just be left with x on the left hand side. Because if you have x plus 5, when you take the 5 away, you're just left with x. 17 take away 5 is 12. So we have now solved that equation, x equals 12. Let's look at another one. Okay, we've now got another equation. The equation is x subtract 3 equals 8. So again, what we're focus on in this video is the technique for solving equations. We're not worried just about getting the answer. We're looking at the technique. So we've got x take away 3 equals 8. Well, again, you might be able to spot this answer straight away, but let's just look at the technique. Remember, you want to get x's on one side and numbers on the other. So you want to get rid of the minus 3 on the left-hand side of this equation. To get rid of the minus 3 on this side of the equation, you want to do the opposite to both sides. Well, the opposite of taking away 3 is adding 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0, so that disappears, this minus 3, so you're just going to be left with x. And on the right hand side of the equation, 8 plus 3 is 11, so x equals 11. So the key is to do the opposite to both sides of the equation to get rid of whatever is on that left hand side. Let's have a look at another example. Okay, here we've got another example. This time it's 5x equals 30. Remember, 5x means 5 multiplied by x. This means 5 times x equals 30. Remember, whenever you solve an equation, you want to get letters on one side, numbers on the other. So on this equation, you want to get rid of the 5 in front of the x. You want to get rid of the 5 times x. Okay, you want to get rid of the 5. So to get rid of the 5, remember that's 5 multiplied by x. You're going to divide both sides by 5. 5x divided by 5, well 5x, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so that's 1x. Remember in algebra you can just write x. Remember we're dividing by 5 to get rid of the 5, so it's just left with x. And 30 divided by 5 is 6. So the answer is x equals 6. Let's look at another example. Okay, this time we've got x divided by 4 equals 3. Remember, you want to get letters on one side, so you just want to have x on this left-hand side. So because you just want to get x on this left-hand side, you want to, get, want to get rid of the divide by 4. Okay, to get rid of the divide by 4, you want to do the opposite to both sides, so you're going to multiply both sides by 4. You multiply by 4 to get rid of the divide by 4, so you're just going to be left with x. And 3 times 4 is 12. So the answer is x equals 12. Let's look at another example. Okay, this question's uh, slightly more difficult. This time you've got 3x plus 1 equals 22. So there's going to be two steps you're going to do in this equation, okay, to solving it. First of all, you want to get, remember you want to get x on its own on the left-hand side. So you want to get rid of the plus 1 and you want to get rid of the multiply by 3. So what you're going to do is you want to get rid of the plus 1 first of all. So let's get rid of the plus 1 first of all. So let's take away 1 from both sides. So let's do the opposite, take away 1 from both sides. When you take away 1 from the left hand side, well that gets rid of the plus 1. So you're just going to be left with 3x. On the right hand side, 22 take away 1 is 21. Now this is just like the one you've been looking at a minute ago. This is 3 times x equals 21. So you want to get rid of the 3, so you're going to divide both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3 is just x. Remember, you want to divide by 3 to get rid of the 3 times. 
and then 21 divided by 3 is 7. So there's your answer, x equals 7. Remember, you can sometimes do these by just looking at it, so you might have been able to do this one quite quickly by looking at it. But particularly later on, whenever you get letters on both sides, brackets on both sides, you need to know this technique. So we're really focusing on the technique here. Okay, so here's an equation we want to solve. It's x divided by 5, take away 3, equals 6. So again, remember you want to get x's on the left-hand side on the run, and numbers on the other side on the run. So we want to get rid of the subtract 3, and the divide by 5. So we're going to do the opposite to both sides to get rid of those. So let's get rid of the minus 3 by adding 3 to both sides. Um, adding 3 to the left hand side gets rid of the subtract 3, so you're going to be left with x divided by 5. On the right hand side, 6 plus 3 is 9. Now we've got x divided by 5 equals 9. You want to get rid of the divide by 5, so you're going to times both sides by 5. We times by 5 to get rid of the divide by 5, so you're just going to be left with x. And on the right hand side, 9 times 5 is 45. Okay, so let's have a look at another example. Okay, we're now going to solve the equation 4 bracket x plus 3 equals 20. To solve an equation like this, you want to expand the brackets first of all. So 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 3 is 12. So expanding the brackets gives you. 4x plus 12 equals 20. So we've just multiplied out the brackets. We've done 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 3 is 12 equals 20. Now we want to solve this just like we've solved the other ones. So we want to get x on this side on its own. So you want to get rid of the plus 12. We want to get rid of the multiplied by 4. So remember, we do the opposite to both sides. So let's get rid of the plus 12 by taking 12 away from both sides of the equation. Uh, taking 12 away from the left hand side will just leave us with 4x. Taking 12 away from the right hand side of the equation will leave us with x. Oh, sorry, 8, 8, 20 take away 12 is 8. Now, we've done 4 times x equals 8, but we want to get rid of the 4 times, so we're going to divide both sides by 4. 4x divided by 4 is just x, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we've now solved that equation. Let's look at one final equation. Okay, this equation is x plus 5 all divided by 3 equals 4. Now, to solve this one, you need to get rid of the divide by 3 first of all on this side because it's all divided by 3. So let's get rid of this divide by 3 first of all. So to get rid of it, you multiply both sides by 3. We times this divide by 3 to get rid of the divide by 3. So we're just going to be left with x plus 5. And on this side, 4 times 3 is 12. Now we've got x plus 5. We want to get rid of the plus 5, so we're going to take away 5. So we take away 5 from both sides of the equation. So taking away 5 gets rid of the plus 5, so you're just going to be left with x. And taking away 5 from the right-hand side, leave 12 take away 5 is 7. So the answer is x equals 7.